did he follow him out for six months, 12 months, a year, two years? No, he followed him out for 15 years. So this is really good data to answer the question, what's the difference between a knee replacement and what he did was bone marrow injections into the bone or subchondral or interosseous or other names for this. So what he did was he took 60 patients who had bilateral knee arthritis and did arthroplasty, knee replacement on one, and these bone marrow injections on the other and followed them out. And so he had 120 total knees. And what he found when he followed them up after 15 years, that both groups improved. So that's the first thing. And interesting, so for the knee replacement group, that people that described the results as excellent were 12 out of 60. And in the bone marrow group, it was only six out of 60. So it appears that knee replacement might be better with the excellent results in twice as many people. Is that true? But you gotta look at poor results then too. So people who reported poor results in the knee replacement group, that was 15 patients. And in the cell therapy or bone marrow group, only one patient reported poor results. So on the one hand, you have more people in the knee replacement group saying, yeah, I'm doing awesome. And the other hand, you have more people in the knee replacement group saying, yeah, I'm not doing awesome. So there's that. And then if you look at preference uh, in these people, which one they liked, if you asked them, did you like the knee replacement or the bone marrow injection, what were those results? So 46 of those 60 patients in the bone marrow group said they preferred that treatment. Uh, they thought that one was the best as opposed to only 14 in the knee replacement group thought that was the best. Both groups did improve, but more patients in the bone marrow group said that they would rather have had that 